So from what I've outlined, I hope it's clear that while the needs of sustainability may have been sown much earlier, it began in earnest, in earnest during the 1960s and early 70s, starting with the protest movement through social changes such as environmentalism and feminism and through the writings of key people, key authors, such as Carson, Schumacher, and, uh, and in product design, uh, Victor Papanek. These ideas became cemented during the 1970s and 80s, and the term sustainable development was popularized by the Brundtland Report in 1987. And as with any good uh, religion or myth, we also have the evangelists and the prophets who proclaim the new vision and who warn of dire consequences if we don't heed their words and change our ways. So the sandwich board apocalyptic, who once could be seen on our city streets proclaiming that the end of the world is nigh, has been replaced by often sensationalist newspaper columnists who base their assertions on uh, the authority of science. And there are a plethora of books now available that assert the dangers of continuing on our current course that document environmental disasters, warn of the dangers of health, uh, to health of air, of, of air pollution, and speak out against the policies of major corporations. And some of these arguments are well-founded, while others are more sensationalist, uh, but also more tenuous in their assertions. Nevertheless, there is a body of work that has arisen in recent years to address and begin, begin implementing the ideas contained under the sustainable development umbrella, and they constitute a rich and very diverse set of ideas. And there's also a language of sustainability, uh, with terms such as the natural step, factor 10, product service systems, enabling solutions, uh, backcasting and scenario development, all these, these sort of jargony terms are familiar to those who are working in the field. And so sustainable development does offer an idea of completeness, a total vision. It has a recognizable beginning, identifiable founders, and is spawning a burgeoning collection of narratives, terminologies, and scenarios. And therefore, I think it can be fairly confidently viewed as a contemporary myth. Now, I don't think the fact that we identify it in that way, uh, I don't think it negates its value or its importance. It simply allows us to see it from a different perspective and perhaps a more philosophical perspective. While sustainability may not actually be physically achievable, its very presence in our consciousness indicates that there's a discontent uh, and a dis-ease uh, with our current state of things and a need to strive towards something we believe to be better, better for the environment, better for society and better for ourselves.